give calcium to patients with hyperkalemia and significant EKG changes. That's basic practice, right? It is core emergency medicine, critical care, and resuscitation. Well, actually, ilcor has got something to say about it, and while it might not change your mind or approach to practice, it's going to be important for all of us to know about. This is a systematic review looking at all sorts of treatments for hyperkalemia, and they identified over 100 studies. Observational data, randomized control trials, some experimental data in animals even. And while we talked a little bit before about what treatments may help to lower potassium, one of the key questions in this review was the impact of calcium on rhythm disturbances and what impact it has in patients in cardiac arrest. And Stuart, I'm going to crush the hopes and dreams you had of calcium saving folks. There's almost no data showing that calcium improves outcomes. And in fact, the two studies looking at calcium being used in patients in cardiac arrest secondary to hyperkalemia, both of them showed an association between calcium use and increased mortality.